Kyle from Icon Poly, and today I'm going to show you how we put together large uh, scale 3D printed parts. So in one of our other videos, we, you, we showed you how we processed it and printed a large scale 3D part, but then we had some questions about how we actually assembled those, because we print them in parts and then put them together. So um, I have another large scale 3D part here, I'm just going to show you how uh, we put those together. Now this is PLA, and uh, some adhesives don't work very well with it, but we found a couple of things that work fine for us. Now remember, these aren't being put together to go out um, on their own, they're being put together as a plug. Now we'll finish these off and then we'll make a mold of them. So uh, this is what we found worked for us, a couple of products that aren't necessarily recommended for this, but they work very well. But the trick to it to start with, I guess, is to scuff up the surface. Now this surface here is what was laying on the bed, so it's nice and smooth. And I have another one over here, here's the other half of this. I've already prepped this one. So what we do for that is, we actually have an aluminum uh, uh, bit here, or aluminum grinding disc, uh, uh, diamond plated, but it's, it's basically a 36 grit. So you want to take something that's a fairly aggressive grit and all we do is we scuff up the surface and that's going to give us some teeth uh, for our adhesive to grab a hold of. So I'm just going to do that quick. And Okay, you can see that didn't take very long at all. We don't get too aggressive with it. All we want to do is scuff that surface. Now we're going to blow off any of the, any of the grindings. Now all we have to do is simply uh, mix up adhesive. Now what we're going to use to put this first part together, since it's a large part, um, we have a couple of different things we're going to use. Uh, this is really fast setting, so we will not use it, um, but we will use this. Now, this isn't technically an adhesive, but it works good for this application. This is a glazing putty by Evercoat, and we use this in the shop once in a while. Now, it is polyester based. We don't like to use much polyester, but this product um, doesn't have a lot in it, and um, we found it works good for us in a lot of different applications. It's normally a surfacing coat. But in this case, it actually sticks these pieces together very well. And we'll mix this in a cup. Now, if you're using it, this for the intended purpose, you wouldn't actually mix it in a cup. You'd mix it on a pallet. And then we just do a little hardener, dab a hardener. Now, in this application, this doesn't have to be a perfect mix. It's going to harden up anyway. So you can kind of adjust how much hardener you want on how long you want to um, want it to take to set up. The less harder, the longer working time you have, the more hardener, the less working time you have. So we just, I'm just going to simply mix that up in a cup and then I am going to spread it on. Now we don't want it too thick. Um, and I'm going to go around the edges first. And I'm not going to get right on the edge because I don't want it to squeeze out and then, you know, stuff I've got to clean up later. So there's some fins on this thing that I kind of got to get it out there a little bit. Not a big deal as far as cleaning up around those. 
So really the edges are the main thing. Now I'm gonna probably mix up a little bit more because on this particular piece, I actually want some in the middle. Um, but main thing is the edges. And I kind of anticipated needing more, so that's why I didn't mix it real rapid. So it's gonna give me a little bit of time here to go ahead and mix up another one. I would normally put the gloves on. I did not do that, forgot to. Uh, it's a good idea. Stuff cleans off pretty easy, but it's kind of a mess. So um, you can see I got it on my hands already. Seems though I can't work with anything without getting it all over myself. Yeah, we'll just do a little bit of dab of that. And we're gonna mix this up again. Just make sure it's thoroughly mixed. And this changes colors as it mixes, so it's pretty easy to tell when it's thoroughly mixed. Now any of these products we have, there will be a link down below. Um, and then if you need to be able to find them, uh, you can certainly find these other places. But if you need to be able to find them, you can click on the link down below and it'll take you to a web page that we have on our website with links to all these products. Okay. I guess one of the cameras died, but we're gonna just keep going. So. We've got the adhesive on there, and uh, now we're just going to place it on this and line it up. And that's going to give us, oh, we're probably gonna be about 10 minutes or so to work with this. Pretty easy to line these up. Because this thing was cut, you know, almost exactly in half. So we just go simply line up the details that we want to be perfect. And then we get a walk away from it. So there we go. We're going to let that set for a few minutes. And uh, when we come back, it'll be set up and then I'll, I'll show it to you on what it actually looks like. And then we're going to go, he's got a couple of horns here. We're going to go and stick those on uh, in a minute. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and here is our 3D print, all stuck together. Uh, it's actually a mythical character. Uh, they call it the, a mucket. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So, um, anyway, we have a couple other parts. He actually gets horns uh, that are going to go up here on his head like that. So we're going to put those on, too. So that main body is stuck together. Once again, with the horns, we're going to prep them the same way we did as the other. Um, I've already prepped this one on this side, but I haven't prepped the pieces themselves. So the thing is, we just uh, rough that out. Do the same thing with this. And we'll do this one. That doesn't take very long at all uh, and you, like I said you don't need to get very aggressive okay. now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually since these are, are uh, small parts and there's no real way to level this guy out and um, I don't want to hold him that long so we're going to use a faster setting adhesive. Now this is a um, urethane structural adhesive. This works pretty good on 3D prints as well. So it's a two-part product in this gun. Again, there's a link to the website. We normally come with tubes uh, that'll mix it for you. I'm not a real big believer in those tubes. We notice there's a lot of mismix that goes on with the tubes. So we like to put it in a cup especially for things like this, where it kind of needs to be spread out anyway and mix it by hand. And you'll feel it getting warm. This product, you're gonna have about a minute and a half to um, be able to get it on. It gets pretty hard, so on this one, I don't really want to have too much on there. I don't want to squeeze out much, which I've already screwed that up. But, um, the nice thing about it, when it does get hard, it grinds really easy too, so it won't be hard to clean that up. 
While we're at it, I'm gonna just stand him up like that, if I can even hold him up like that. And see if we can get the other one put on there as well. That way we can get them both done at the same time. Save us time in the long run. Now once these are stuck on, they'll be they'll be on there. You won't be able to uh, break those off at all. Uh, you'll actually end up if you try to get them off of there, you end up breaking the uh, the 3D print. Okay, so as soon as those set up, this guy is actually will be all one part. The only thing we'll do from this point is we'll put him on a, on a stand so he'll stand up on his own when we work on him. And then we'll take him from this point, we'll take him and we will um, uh, surface, put a surface coat on him to smooth him all out and, and get rid of all the striations and imperfections in the print uh, before we go ahead and mold him. Once again, this is how we put together large format uh, 3D prints. If you have any questions, ask below in the comment section. If you have it or are looking for any of the materials you can't find, there's going to be links uh, below with those materials. So, bye till next time.